Hey guys, welcome back. I was planning on just spending the whole day outside getting everything tidied up today because it's been quite glorious. And then I was gonna shoot a video and show you sort of everything that I'm getting on with at the moment. But I just looked up and it is gray and I think it's gonna rain pretty soon. So I figure I can keep working in the rain, but I can't really shoot a video in the rain. So instead, let's take a quick squizzy round before, it, before the heavens open and I will show you what I'm growing. Cause I realized I haven't actually gone through what I'm actually planning to grow this year. It's been all about the perennial food forest side of things. So I'm gonna catch you up quick on what I'm growing in my annual garden this year. I just showed a video on all my tomatoes and peppers that I had started inside. Uh, we potted those up and hopefully the poly tunnel will be ready for them soon and they'll be able to go out but otherwise got some other things on the go so uh let's walk around and see what's happening okay so here in the mini greenhouse this is what i'm working with in terms of outside seed sowing space at the moment um i've started a few things in the cold frames but the biggest struggle i'm having this spring is slugs it's been so wet uh, and so mild that there's a lot of slugs around so uh, in here it seems to have fed better in terms of the slugs because you know things aren't on the floor but i've lost a fair number of seedlings already to the slugs outside which is a bit of a shame but nothing that i can't really sow so this tray over here is all brassicas which are like crack the slugs they just love them so i have had to this is looking quite sparse in here and i'm having to re-sow a lot of brassicas i swear it does not matter what proportion of kale to broccoli to cauliflower that I sow, the slugs eat all the cauliflowers, most of the broccoli, and leave my cabbage. So I always end up with loads of cabbage and hardly any other brassicas. Maybe I'll start some brassicas inside because they're really suffering out here until the weather dries up a little bit and just try, to, just, just, I just want some cauliflower. <laughs> So it's much the same story on this side. I've got uh, this tray that has a load of herbs in it. And if I hadn't seen them, if I hadn't seen the little seedlings pop up with my own eyes, I'd think that the, that the seeds would, were dead. But I did see them, so I do know that most of this came up and that's all just disappeared. So um, these were, again, in the cold frame outside. Uh, so I've brought them in now and I'm gonna have to re-sow um, the dill, the parsley, the sorrel. It all got eaten. It's been a bit of a fail on the early sowing outside. It's warm enough, so everything is just germinating but it's just too wet and there's too many slugs i have to keep them in undercover because it's just too windy to have seedlings like straight outside it's not too cold but it is too windy but then as soon as i have them in a cold frame or something they just seem to be like little slug havens so <sighs> so basically i need to get on re-sowing a load of stuff that i already had started so i've put some brassicas out in the field but again they're getting eaten. I started the, some of the brassicas quite early. Uh, the first round got eaten by slugs out in the uh, in, out in the bed, and then I re-sowed them, and then half of those got eaten as well. So I'll go show you what's still surviving out there in a second. But I'll keep showing you this little area first. I've got some herbs and some flowers and things that seem to be doing okay in here as seedlings. So I just keep an eye on those. You know, got a lot of like annual flowers and bits and bobs like that. Some straw flowers, that's some candy tuft. Got some crazy daisies as well. And um, this catmint, I couldn't decide whether this was catmint or if this is a nettle. They look remarkably similar as seedlings. So I'm gonna just, you know, keep an eye on those uh, and see. I thought it was catmint and then I realized that something that looks very similar growing in with these willow down here that I definitely didn't sow catmint in. So we'll see. Where's this? Nigella, they're coming up really well. I've got some tarragon that's still clinging on here. I'm kind of just accepting anything that, that survives this period and we get an early start on is great, it's bonus. Otherwise, I would have been starting stuff outside about now anyway. So we'll catch up and it will be fine. What else is going on here? I always have willow cuttings of some kind on the go. So that's what's happening down here. Um, we've got some spring onions that still haven't found their way out. And these are some crazy daisies started early that seem to be doing all right. Over on this side, I've still got some sage. Oh my gosh, these had all come up and, oh, they've all disappeared. Anger and algae, that was my wormwood. Okay, got to start those again. Oh dear. But yeah, these were all the tree, evergreen tree cuttings. Still got eucalyptus to find a spot for. Um, and some lavenders down here that are gonna go out soon. Otherwise, a load of empty seed trees. 
This is outside the greenhouse, but on an old greenhouse frame where they cover it for season the staging. Here I've got, again, we had cauliflower and broccoli in this half. They all got eaten by slugs, but the kale is still going. This is the black Tuscan kale, and these are the dwarf curly kale, and still got a few of those, so I'm going to re-sow and maybe take a tray inside, as I said. In this tray, I've got some leeks just coming up, which is great. I've also got some shallots just coming up, which is great. And then this whole tray here is multi sown beetroot that are just starting to crop up as well. So, wonderful news. So most of my seeds that I have actually started have been inside. This is all just the stuff I did ask both for inside um, and was gonna have to be, was gonna have to be sown outside anyway, be it now or, you know, obviously I've tried I've tried to get a month's head start just because it's been mild but that is what it is. Most things are inside but I've only got the space that I've got inside so I thought I could get away with doing some out here. Anything that does grow out in these early start outside spots is a bonus. Right let's let's take a peek out in the beds as to what we've actually got out and growing um, and then we'll then I'll pop inside with you and show you the seeds that I've actually got on the go already. So in this bed here I've got the surviving brassicas. Um, as I say I've been putting them out and they just get eaten and I'm just keep putting them out in the hopes that something manages to survive. As usual the cabbage is doing better than anything else. I've got to the point now where I've replaced them so many times I'm not really sure what they are. Uh, I'll worry about that if they don't get eaten by slugs and they actually manage to establish into a plant and then maybe I'll try and work out what <laughs> what each thing is. So we've got them under the nets, probably not necessary at the moment, although I did see a first white butterfly today, so maybe it is necessary. Fingers crossed something here comes to something. If not, as I say, I'm gonna start another round of fresca seeds today inside, um, maybe in the porch, because I don't need the warmth. I just need to keep them out of the, the damp slug zone. Behind them, I don't know if you can see, is the garlic. That's still plugging along. Pretty happy with how that's looking. It is a little bit yellow on the chips, um, but the same was true last year. I'm not worried about it, thinking that they needed something. But I think it's just, you know, they've been through the winter. It's been long. Um, and last year they just picked up again once the spring kicked in. So I'll keep an eye on them. They look similar to last year, and last year the garlic did great. So um, yeah, I'm not too worried. I've got a few different sets of onions out here. I've got the overwintered um, bulb onions that seem to be just plugging along. I've also got a new set that I've put out uh, in the spring that I started earlier in the year, sort of January time, put out at the beginning of March. And then I've also got some spring onions out here as well. They all seem to be okay and uh, plugging along. We're eating the leeks and eating the brassicas, um, so it's nice to have something at this time of year. I think realistically things overwintered quite well, better than I expected, so I will plan to do a lot more for my overwinter garden next year. And it has just started to rain. <laughs> Let's crack on. So most of the brassicas have gone to seed now. I'm quite enjoying just having the, all the yellow flowers everywhere, but it won't be long until I'm putting a lot of that out so that we've got space in the beds for what comes next. Um, we do have, still have some purple sprout and broccoli that's, that's still giving us side shoots, which is really nice. Um, but mostly the, brass, the overwinter brassicas will be done soon. These leeks will be done soon. Um, and it will all be making way for spring stuff. So this bed behind me has some shallots in it. I've also just put out some peas, uh, so hopefully they cope with the wind situation, but we'll see, they really needed to go out, so out they are. We also have a load of spinach and lettuces and things like that, which are just starting to be ready uh, to harvest from, which is really nice as well. We're still swimming in celery. I just wanna show you I'm absolutely stunned with these calendula. They have grown all winter. They flowered all winter. They took a hit when there was some frost. You know, the, the blooms that were there obviously died off, but they just come back again and again. It's definitely raining on me now. So let's pop inside and see what I've got growing in there. Then we'll briefly chat about what I've got left to start. And then I'll leave you inside while I get my waterproofs on and come back out. Before I do, the hawthorns have flowered and don't they just look gorgeous? There's been so many bees and stuff over these. Oh, spring. And that's wrong. Oh, great over real quick out there. Right, in here are peppers that we potted up the other day and now started on this window so it's not really light enough but it's the best I can do right now. I've got cucumbers looking good. 
these are some wax myrtle trees that I've started the seeds for. Some more cucumbers that are just coming up over here. And this seed tray down here, these big things are zinnias. I've also got some basil started in there. And then I've got a little petunias for making things pretty. So out here in the porch is where I'm putting everything that can't quite hack it outside, but that doesn't need the actual warmth of my house. So it's not heated out here, but obviously there's like electrics and bits and bobs going on so it's probably a little bit protected. This is where currently all of the tomatoes that I put it up are living and then on the windowsill here I've just got these are all flowers these are all annual flowers perhaps I'll talk about flowers a different time but I do have the only things out here that are food besides these tomatoes is there's some lovely young coriander that's just popped up. I also still have a pumpkin out here from last year which I think is pushing it a little bit and I should probably eat that or give it to the chickens. So, so far that's about it. I think I've only really started the things that really needed to be started early because as you can see I don't have a lot of seed sowing space at the moment. I only have a couple of windowsills that really get enough light to bother trying to start seeds on and otherwise it's just you know it's not warm enough here yet. But it has just turned into April so now is the time I'm really going to get cracking. I will be succession sowing um, you know a lot of the things that are already on the go like peas all the salad greens, the brassicas. I've had a big focus so far on starting the perennial things for the food forest as well. So like all my herbs and things like that. So that's all going quite well. And soon we'll be able to start things like beans uh, and squashes and sweet corn and things like that. Now it's starting to, to really warm up a bit. So from here on, it was gonna be all systems go. And I look forward to sharing it with you. So thank you very much. I'll catch up soon.